we've just literally ran out of ideas. But he gave us a gift. He gave us a gift. We're like trying to fish like right there. I mean, seriously, like I was literally just cast like right there. Addicts, thank you so much for tuning into another Addicted video. Before we get this one started, you guys know it's December 10th. The winter merch drop is tonight, immediately following this episode. We have an insane amount of items. If you want a sneak peek of every single one of the items, you can watch the end of this video. We're gonna kind of be working through everything and showing you what we have to offer. But until then, let's get into this banger video and we'll see you on the website, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, winter drop, baby. Hey, good morning, addicts. Welcome to another Addicted Fishing video. And uh, Alex and I have been on a filming bender lately and we've just literally ran out of ideas. We're really bored and we decided to come up here today to the gorge and try to catch a fish. I we're caught gonna, one. You already caught one. It's over there. We, we know we're not going away empty handed because <laughs> there's some dead salmon sitting at the bottom of the ramp. It's really late in the season, guys, but I wanted to run this boat. I wanted to kind of play around. We are going to go try to catch a salmon in my bass boat right here. And uh, we've got some ideas today, but goal is just catch a fish. Uh, it's really late in the season. We are the only idiots here. There is eight that went over. Oh, that's right. The Bonneville Dam count. For those of you guys that know in the region, there's a dam that counts the fish as they come up. We're looking pretty good. I think four went over the day before and eight yesterday. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Thir eight, we had four, 18, 13. Perfect. So, so we sitting we on big numbers. Big numbers, big numbers. So <laughs> it's going to be a challenge. But if that doesn't work out, we've got some other stuff in store. So uh, let's, you know, you guys need to join us, stick with us, and uh, let's see what we can go do. Ready? Get them. So our only option up here today is to try to catch a coho. And we've brought twitching rods, got good buddy Cliff with us, got my Brad's wigglers, some dicky twitching jigs. And of course, you guys know my favorite, some hoochie jigs. Uh, we're going to throw everything at them, but we wanted to bring this platform today because we can utilize some of the features that we have in the electronics that we use for bass, including the Hummingbird Mega Live and some of our sonar stuff that we have in here. And we figured, you know what, today is going to be one of those days where we might need every advantage that we can get. So the idea is to go utilize some of the electronics. I have a Hummingbird 360, a Mega 360 on front of this as well, and to be able to go in those areas. And if there's only a few fish around, I'd rather be casting Adam instead of just open water, which probably is why we're the only people here, because there's probably a lot of open water. What are you gonna throw, Cliff? What are you thinking? What are they feeding on today? Feeding on that mammer jammer right there. Whoa. I threw some twitching rods, threw some hoochie, hoochie rods. I threw a bunch of stuff in there today. I've got a surprise for you guys a little later. So we had to bring some other rods too. I'm gonna start with the old hoochie mama. Like that. Ooh. That's a co. Oh. Oh boy, that was a coho. I heard on him. Huh. Already casting at him. Well, in typical coho fashion, they're already laughing at us. They're already jumping, but a couple. Weed. This is pissing me off. They're jumping like right there. Should have brought some eggs today. I didn't think it'd be like this many fish in here, but I didn't want to get any eggs in my boat. If anybody has the eggs, run them up real quick. Like this is the most awkward feeling in the world. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to confuse the fish. Yeah. Oh my god. Would you say that's the salmon? Oh my god, dude. Come on, dude. Oh my gosh. 
Look at him. The screen is loaded. Basically, these fish are going, you suck. Do not catch that reason. Look at them. Look at them all. What is going on? Yeah, they're all oh, weird. They're jumping right where I'm, oh, weird. They're jumping right where I'm looking. Weird. That is so strange. How could that possibly be a thing? Please eat it. Please eat it. Oh, oh, oh. Dude. We're going to get one. There's fish like all over that way. The problem is you can't like, by the time you see them, they just, they're gone. You don't know that beam is so thin. You don't know if they're swimming left to right or right to left. So you just kind of turn, see them, guess. That jig, look at jig's going right there. Oh my god. Here we go. This should be the mud, this should be the juice. These ones don't eat. We're out of here. Oh, come on. What? What? No way. Heaven's sakes. It's a kid show. <laughs> Yes, he's on, he's on. I got, oh, I got him. I got him. Fish on. Oh, there he is. Oh, he came off. No. He broke. Broke him off. No way. Really, guys? Really? We're like trying to fish, like right there. I mean, seriously, like, I was literally just cast, like, right there. This hole's blown. I mean, it's just getting awfully crowded out here. <laughs> Deer season is literally tomorrow, too. <laughs> Look at that. What the heck? This this place, I, I can't stand the fishing. Man, I'll tell you. Places those things can cross, they cross right where we're fishing. <laughs> so, so I got this pack. You know, the mustache pack. I noticed that it had the cell phone holder, but also fits Pop-Tarts <laughs> very nicely. So I was like, why not? Two of these, little hand warmers, stuff them in. I'm sure you can do it with uh, hot pockets. Now I'm just gonna let it sit. We're cooking, 15 minutes. They might be warm. Okay. Well, we've been at this for a couple hours now and my arm is tired. Man, I had that one. I'm guessing it was a Chinook because it belted the rod and broke it off very promptly. And there's a bunch of big, like there's some big, dark, like 20 plus pound Chinook like dumping around in here, uh, plus some coho. But I think what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go try to catch some real fish. Yeah, I called them real fish, so. Uh, we're gonna kind of just switch, switch gears, put some rods away, pull some rods out, go for a little boat ride, and uh, get out of here for a little bit. I think, uh, like I said, I gotta catch a fish somewhere, and this is just not happening for me. So, moving on. Surprise, that's the problem. Oh my gosh, we got a fish, you guys! It's not a salmon. It's not even a real fish. But far superior species though. <laughs> oh we got a fish on. Do you need a net? Ooh, we might. <laughs> that's a good fish. That's a better one. Yeah. Yeah! What's your 
Look how fat that thing is. It is so fat. People don't realize this, but this time of year, like we are well into November. I'll take them from you. Yeah, we should go. Well into November. These fish put on so much freaking weight. This is just like a little like pound and a half fish most of the year. But he's probably two with that. And if people understood how good and how how quality like this fishery can be, like in this time of year, like we are the only boat only out here. Boat. The only boat out here salmon fishing yeah. and the only boat out here bass, bass fishing, fishing right now. But real nice fish. I'll let you do the little do your little boat flip. But we're gonna get bigger today, guys. There you go, little guy. Nice. Yeah, dude. There he is. Nice. Good work, dude. No, we didn't. <laughs> oh, little guy. Little guy, little rat. Boat flip. There he is. Whoa. Another little chunky. Only difference between wintertime and summertime is summertime you'll probably catch a hundred of these a day. In the wintertime you might catch 20. Nice fish though. Start to catch something. Told you we'd catch something. I'm not a snickle fish to fish. Are you snickle fish to me? Oh, he's all over here already. Daddy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Nickel frith. Oh my gosh. Look at how freaking fat that guy is. It's like the end of November. It's the end of November. He's nowhere close to spotting. He's just been eating. Good. Eating good. 53 degree water. It's prime time for these suckers, man. Yo. See you, Ooh, made that one hurt. Made that one hurt, baby. Dude, that thing hit the bottom. That's got fish up in there. Oh. oh, look. Look at it. Well, they're slowly getting bigger. Another oh, freaking. And guys, that right there is why, like, you know what? We went there, and how many salmon were we seeing on the live? I mean, hundreds of them. And they're just like, no. At least these things are warriors. They want to play. Like, they want to fight. You know? They, they want to eat. Can't say that for your salmon. That's how you can tell. You actually have steam in there. Yeah. Yeah. There's actual steam. That's how you can tell it's almost done. That is a custom pop tart wall. Yeah. Huh. Next is a hot pocket. That should be like in one of those like TikTok video life hacks. <laughs> life hack? What? Yeah. No way! Yeah. You could put a pop tart in an addicted backpack oh. cell phone holder with a hand warmer and have toasted pop tarts. You know those electric hand warmers? They get way hotter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's my next move for sure. Ooh, 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 good one, really good one. Oh, it's taking drag, holy crap. Ooh, nice one. That's a nice one, guys. Dude. <laughs> Freaking stud there. That's a little, that's a little like two, two and a half, uh, most of the years, except for right now. My God. We're gonna call it a five. Look at that sucker. We're gonna call it a five. We're gonna call it a five for today. How much does this weigh, Alex? Under three. Two and a quarter. Just under three. Is Probably, guess. yeah, I was just thinking, yeah, right, right, it's so fat. Like, I'm gonna give him the, the fat, I'm gonna give him the Alex, I mean the fat guy bonus. Two, look like 288, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's good fish. I mean, for, you know, the end of November, early December, just kind of tooling around, having some fun, getting some fatties, and playing with fish that actually want to bite, you know, 
There's nothing wrong with that. Puking up right yeah. there. Oh, that's baby shad. Probably should be fishing <laughs> some more. Uh, probably should be fishing some swim baits or something. A drop shot and a couple little fries. Just put that on the drop shot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was a cool little fish, but he gave us a gift. He gave us a gift. And since we're into food chain challenges here, I'm gonna take that little shad <laughs> and turn him into a drop shot. But not legal in any kind of tournament scenario, but when we're out here having some fun in the end of November, just dinking around, let's give it a shot. Here we go. I'm gonna just gingerly cast it because I don't want to hurt it. Fish and natural bait. All right. Oh, he's coming up for it. There it is. He's coming up for it. Oh, 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 I think he just had him. Oh, I didn't set it. No. I think he dropped it. He got it. He, he came, got it. He came up. I watched I, him come dude, up. Hundred percent. Yeah. He got it. I am pretty sure I don't have a bait on it anymore. No, the fish is interested. Got him. There he is. Got him. Oh, Never mind. I got him. He came back. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Dude, there's a grip of fish down there. That's Look a nice, that. well, that's a good one too! <laughs> Holy smokes, look at this guy, he's a little fatty. Oh my goodness. Well, food chain challenge, baby! Look at him, there's like five or six of them swimming at each other. There's all his friends wondering where he went. Look at them all. <laughs> Man, look at that guy. Look awesome. at that, could not resist. Why don't you give me my minnow back, bro? Nice fish. Look at that, just smoked him. <laughs> That's a beautiful, I mean, just a beautiful fish. What else are we doing today? What else were you doing today? I mean, you know, we got blown off our salmon spot by the five deer. Yeah. It's really crowded out here. Boat ramp was packed. packed. Just annoying and we're trying to figure out some other little tournament spots and some other stuff for the spring. What else are you going to do? Nice I wish I had another minnow. That's what I wish. I know. Yeah. Catch another fish and give us a minnow. All right. Mini food chain challenge completed. And uh, just I'm going to show you guys real fast kind of like what occurred there because I threw a drop shot rig at some fish that we saw like laying down below and um, a drop shot rig is a very simple easy technique to to do and to be productive with and to catch fish with but it's kind of one of those things that's kind of hard to master guys that are really good at drop shotting um, are very very good at making very stubborn fish bite now when you fi feed a small mouth exactly what his buddy just ate five minutes ago it's probably a lot easier but i want to kind of go through what happened there because what I have is some 12 pound line with a little size, uh, a little size one aught hook hanging out in the tip. Now, when I took that little shad minnow, I put it through the head. And what that did is it allowed the minnow to just kind of freely bounce up and down on that hook while the weight laid on the bottom. So what happens is, is the weight lays on the bottom and it keeps your hook away from there. And when you have that little tension, that little minnow was just sitting there dancing and darting around. Now guys will use really long little robo worms, little leeches, just something that has a lot of wiggle so you can see a lot of action. Like I said, using natural bait, probably cheating and work really good, but you guys kind of get the idea. But what's cool about this setup is it keeps the weight down on the bottom and in the rocks and your hooks out of it. So sometimes you lose your weight, but you're able to fish it. It's a real easy technique for just dropping it over the side of the boat, making short casts, dropping it down to the bottom 
uh, dropping down the bottom, hitting it, and just kind of shaking it and wiggling it, and it will entice a lot of bites. And that a drop shot setup on the Columbia River will work for smallmouth probably 11 and a half months out of the year. Like it will be very productive uh, just about all the time. So anyways, hope you guys can get out here and get a chance to do it and do not ignore uh, using a little drop shot rig, drop shot rig uh, to catch a bunch of smallies. Heads up. <laughs> no clip, heads up. This is a, this could be a really good fish. I don't know, this one's just fighting. <laughs> Every fish is a good fish today. Every fish is a good fish in freaking late November. There we go. Oh, hey buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, perfect. I like it. Goodness gracious. That little thing did that? Holy smokes. Hey buddy. That was just the softest little pickup. Just. The, uh, the moment of truth. Moment of truth. The, re the results of the pop tart. It's warm. Could be gooey. I mean, I think we need to work on the heater. I mean, it's still warm in my hands, but I don't know if my hands are so cold that it feels warm. But it's still a good pop tart. The only kind there is the s'mores. That's the only kind. The main goal today was catch a salmon in this boat. I have yet to put a salmon in it. Uh, probably ain't gonna happen this year after today. I mean, the odds were against us. I think we had four fish over Bonneville as far as freshies coming. So it is what it is, but I can tell you what, uh, Marlon and I've got some ideas for next year, doing some, uh, filming some of my tournaments, uh, doing some more bass content. So if there's anything along those lines that you guys kind of want to see, or uh, would like to see more tech tips on, or anything along those lines where you know we put a cameraman on the boat, go fish some of our club tournaments or some of our local tournaments, uh, we'll do it. But comment below, let us know what you guys think. Uh, you know, we tried to make the most of it on a cold day in November. I feel like my, uh, my performance was excellent. Yeah. My, uh, <laughs> one fish for I thought you were gonna say your face was really it, cool. No, it, it <laughs> like, was. I, can't move. I, I got, we, we recovered my hat, so like that was a win, I guess. So you gotta celebrate the little victories. That's like a christening for like yeah. a lot of bass boats. Losing. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh, all right guys, well, we're gonna get out of here. The boat's, boat ramp's real busy and uh, you know, it. Uh, you got a long line and lots of stuff to do. So yeah, that's a, that's a complete total lie. But uh, we'll see you on the next one, later. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching that video. Hopefully you guys liked that one. It was one of my favorite videos we made in a long time, but we got a lot of the stuff out here on the table, so I thought we'd just start sneak peeking some of it. First of all, we are going to have a limited edition Chinook Bonker. There's only 35, they're numbered three of 35 limited edition, absolutely sick. We got cutting boards, as Jordan likes to say for your charcuterie board. We got the cutting boards here with Addicted on there. We have spinners, another R&B lure collab. These are 4.5s, they have the Mustad 2 aught sidewash on them. We got the Snake Eyes series in orange. We got the Snake Eyes series in chartreuse and the Snake Eyes series in pink. Again, all these tackle products guys are gonna go quick. They're gonna sell out really, really fast as you guys know from previous drops. New killer fish, KF14 turned out absolutely amazing. This was hand painted by Last Chance Lures, highly limited. Three brand new maglips. These are painted by Hanford Reach Outdoors. These are absolutely sick. We got the Blue Mist, the Orange Crush, and we got Santa's Little Helper. Again, these are all limited. I think these are numbered to, what are these numbered to? I'm not sure. Again, highly, highly limited. I wanna say there's like 75 of each or something. These are 3.5 Maglips, limited edition. We brought some Christmas ornaments back this time. We got the Fish Mountain. We got the Addicted logo. We got the Sasquatch design. Great little stocking stuffers. We had some recommendations from addicts to do luggage tags. A lot of us are traveling, a lot of us are going on fishing trips. So we made some super badass, high quality lug luggage tags that you can attach to your luggage if you're traveling, rep addicted. 
You just put your name, phone number, all that stuff on there. A pretty dope little item. Coasters. So again, we try to do a lot of gift stuff this year, guys. Just stuff that would be good for Christmas, stuff that would be good for the holidays. So we made these slate coasters. We got the Stay Fishy model. These are all rock. As you guys can hear, they're kind of like a slate coaster. They got the little footies on the bottom of them. So we got the Stay Fishy one. These are gonna come in groups of four. And then we also have the Fish Mountain. A couple new campfire mugs. We did the Fish Mountain logo here. And then we did the Stay Fishy. Pretty dope. Another recommendation is from an addict fan. Trailer ball covers. So we made these. These turned out really, really good. They have these little clips in here, so you don't even have to have a pin. Once you kind of put that in there, it clips right into your trailer. Into your trailer hitch, I mean. It worked out really good. I'm, I'm stoked how they turned out. Already threw one on my truck. And then, guys, an insane amount of apparel. We got some waterproof jackets that you can't see here. We have a brand new puffy that turned out freaking dope, as you can see. We got the Addicted logo there on the front. And these are quality, guys. Really heavy duty, big quality jackets, warm. Gonna be great for winter time. And as you can see, when I say puffy, these things are puffy. I'm like the marshmallow man right here. Again, super high quality. I'm really stoked on these. These are one of my favorite items that we came out with this year. We did some new dry bags. As you know, we're going into winter skilled. We're all gonna be in our rafts. So it never hurts to have a dry bag. These are Oakley dry bags, addicted on there. We got the Stay Fishy in red, pretty dope. And then we also got the gray one with the Addicted Green. And then we got a bunch of beanies. We brought some more Addicted Hunting apparel stuff back. You guys have been loving the Addicted Hunting and all of our stories about hunting, so we did some new Addicted Hunting beanies. We got the Fish Mountain beanie, the America beanie, and then we did some big chunky ones for the ladies. These are new patches that we had made. Pretty sick, just the black with the orange hook. Another new Addicted Hunting. Again, really clean, subtle. Black Addicted with a gray hook. And then obviously the green Addicted hook. Gotta, gotta have that in there as the staple. The Chrome Blend patch with the Fish Mountain. Pretty dope. And then we did a ladies hoodie. Put the Fish Mountain on there. Super high quality. It's got a little bit of a V-neck here. It's got the white strings to match. For all you lady addicts out there, husbands, take notes, buy this for your wives. And then we got, this is honestly guys, probably my favorite design that we've done. We got the orange addicted hook on the front and wait for it, we got the where's my bobber design on the back. Anyone that's been in a raft, a drift boat or wherever, everyone always says, where's my bobber? Well, there it is on the back of the hoodie. Okay guys, we got the camo hoodie. I always loved camo. These are quality and these are 10 ounce hoodies, guys. They're really, really high quality. Fit really nice, keep you super warm. We had to bring in another Addicted Hunting hoodie back. I went with the chocolate brown with just the black Addicted Hunting elk on there. Again, high quality, heavy duty hoodies. You guys have been begging for more Stay Fishy stuff, so we did a new Stay Fishy design. As you can see, we got Stay Fishy Adventures on the front. And then we got the updated Stay Fishy Get Addicted logo on the back. We did that on a bunch of different shirts, guys. We also we had a youth shirt. So a lot of the, you guys have been asking for more kids apparel. Here it is. We got the Stay Fishy right there logo on the front. Stay Fishy Adventures on the back. Also did that on adult shirts. I love this blue, guys. This is like an indigo blue. Super clean looking. Stay Fishy Adventures on the back. And again, guys, these are a 60-40 blend. These are super soft, aren't gonna shrink a lot, high quality t-shirts. We don't make anything on cheap stuff, so keep that noted. We try to keep everything quality. Other youth here, guys, we got the Fish Mountain for all the little kids out there. Pretty sick. And then we also did the Where's My Bobber design on a t-shirt. There she is. Got the addicted float in the water. Train skis, addicted hunting tea. And last but not least, guys, we have an insane amount of hats. I'm not even gonna talk about all of them. I'm just gonna hold them up for Sean here.
There you have it, folks. This is not everything. There is some stuff that we're missing or that we haven't finished yet. As you can see, Robbie's over here printing frantically. We've been just nonstop trying to get this drop done for you guys. Here's another one of the designs, guys. We got the freaking steel hood hold on the front with the pink worm hanging out of his mouth. Pretty freaking sick. I'm so excited for this drop, guys. As the holidays are coming, a lot of this stuff's gonna sell out. We're gonna do our absolute best to get everything to you before Christmas. So if you place an order tonight, we are gonna get it to you before Christmas. So thanks again so much for the support, everyone. We wouldn't be able to keep doing this without you. And it means the world that you keep shopping on our website and supporting these drops. We'll see you on the website in just a few minutes. And if not, we'll see you on the river.